Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I'm back with another StarCraft 2 1 vs. 1 replay cast. Got ourselves what should be a good match here. It's actually a uh, Korean vs. Korean match. It's been a while since I just cast one of these for YouTube, I think. Spawning up in the top left hand side of the map, it's Leenok, aka the Lean Octopus. And uh, spawning down the bottom right hand side of the map, he's on a barcode account. It's actually Root Hero. Root here, or, oh, pardon me, I don't think he's on Root anymore. Uh, I think he uh, recently joined one of those Chinese teams. A lot of uh, a lot of players got picked up by those Chinese teams uh, due to the upcoming Chinese Team League, which is very cool. So uh, he'll be representing a team there, I, wa I want to say. Hold on. We've got this probe going across the map. We've, we've got time to Google this. Let's take a look. Got to Google, make sure we find the right hero, because we know there's been uh, multiple of these guys. Yeah, TS Gaming is the uh, team that he joined there. Anyway, as this uh, game's going on, like I said, we got a bit of time to step aside to Google little random tidbits here just to find out what's going on with the players. But, uh, no, so uh, as far as this game goes, it's a ZVP, Zerg versus Protoss. So pretty standard stuff coming out of both these guys for now. Here's Probe. I mean, we, we weren't looking, but he was uh, behaving there, just uh, moving across the map and scouting everything out. And then... Uh, We've got a, a Nexus going up for Hero, so standard stuff going on. Gotta pay attention to how Hero is uh, gonna wall this off. If uh, if you ever play Protoss on ladders, that's 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 where I fall short sometimes. But uh, here we see Hero also got his probe just across the map, just uh, poking, prodding, keeping an eye on everything. He's well aware of the timings and everything that you uh, generally want to head home. Gonna come in here, be a pain, mess with these drones mining a little bit, uh, do that right click micro, usually try and highlight that whenever that's going on. Just goes to show, it's one of these hotkeys, that these guys have a lot of APM going on. And uh, when uh, it's early on in the game, you don't have too much to play with. Now, uh, as this game's going on, pro uh, Hero finishes up his Cybercore, Adept on the way, no surprise there. And then a Stargate on the way, so very standard opening from Hero. If you're looking for uh, build order notes as a Protoss player, you can take note that uh, Hero, he delayed his warp gate research. You generally think warp gate, pretty important for Protoss, right? Yeah, but getting up a Stargate a little bit earlier is also very nice for the Protoss. The warp gate doesn't come into the come in for the grand scheme of things. So uh, Protoss do tend to do that, get, uh, get that Stargate up before the warp gate. As this is going on though, Linaki's making eight Zerglings here, ten Zerglings. Okay, so uh, that's actually a fair few links he's making, uh, more than the usual amount. He's got speed on the way. Queen gonna start shooting away this Adept, but Linok has made a few extra Zerglings here. If we take a look at that production tab, I wonder if it's just because he's scared or if he's looking to put on a bit of counter pressure onto Hero when he can. He's not really making an effort to hide these, but. Some Zergs will defend this with a few less Lings. Now there is two Adepts coming on in though, so Linok does have these 10 Lings that will definitely help him out here. These Adepts are going to be shading on in for Hero. We'll see if they commit. They actually commit right in front of that Queen. So far they haven't got anything. There we go. There are the 10 Lings for Linok coming into play here. Just, uh, yeah, they're trying to surround these Adepts. These Adepts are, one of them gets picked off. The Lings trying to surround the other one. He's a bit of a slip, or she's a bit of a slippery devil, I guess. Does manage to escape. Linok did make those Lings, but, uh, they definitely did come in useful there, and apparently my Zerg knowledge lacks, but I think he maybe could have got them, like, a little bit later. I don't know, but, uh, anyway, he held that, he held the, uh, the Adepts that were diving into his base, which is the most important part of, of being a Zerg player. These Lings trying to work away in this stalker here. Oracle comes on in, shoes him away, but the uh, Lings actually give up trying to pick off that stalker. Warp through all of its shields there, finds absolutely nothing else, so that's pretty much as, uh, that's very nice for Hero. The Stalker, completely fine. He'll regenerate those shields. And as this game's going on, Hero, getting up a Robo, getting up a Forge behind this, and uh, Leenok just having to be safe, getting up these Spore Crawlers, droning up. And uh, so far, yeah, just a pretty standard game going on between these two guys. I think it's probably just been a few Lings, few Lings, one Overlord, and one Adept that have died this game. So nothing major just yet going down. A lair is on the way for Leenok. We'll see what he's going to do with that. That unlocks the uh, a fair few techs for Zerg. Hydras, I, I'm not, I'm not going to list them all, guys. There's a lot of techs that unlocks. Hero comes on in with his oracles. Very good control. Picks off three drones. Going to want to get on out of there before that uh, queen softens. One of them, that other oracle getting very close to getting picked off there, but stays alive. As this game is going on, 
Third base is uh, getting up for Hero here. He's getting plus one on the way. Some sentries and a warp prism. Curious what he's going to do with this, if anything. Maybe just some light harassment or something like that. For now, though, just uh, both these players playing a very good game so far. Hero coming on in with his oracles, but Leenok, look at that, in position to shoot them away. Bruises one of the oracles a little bit. Uh, every little bit matters in that regard. The War Prism, though, for Hero is going to be moving out right now. We'll see what it's going to be getting done. Maybe it'll warp in a few Adepts or something. Yeah, okay, there we go. A couple of Adepts have been warped in for Hero. And uh, they're going to be looking to get some easy drone pickoffs. Two Adepts, guys. You might think that uh, Protoss will usually just go for two Adepts at the start of a game, but pretty much any time two Adepts getting into a mineral line can get a fair bit of damage done. Look at this, they're going to shade on in for Hero. They're going to start working away in these drones. Leenok is quick to surround, but drones versus Adepts is never a good trade. So far we've seen four drones go down, five. Let's see how many are going to go down in total. That's six. And if Hero gets out with those Adepts, that would be huge. Can't lose the Prism, though. Got to be careful. Two Queens are in position, so Hero will actually lose the Prism. Might get maybe one more drone. No, he won't. So over committing there a little bit. I don't know, maybe he could have stayed there and recalled or something, but uh, Leenok getting that as con as a consolation there, as a... Yeah, getting that as consolation as those uh, adepts. They killed off a fair few workers, but in the end, he did clean them up, which is very nice for him. These oracles, they shot this hatchery a little bit. They've got a lot of energy they're building up. Hero having to deal with Leenok poking and prodding him, though. He's teching up into these Hydras, and we'll see what Hero's going for. This is kind of interesting, what he's getting out right now. It's not much of significance, dare I say. He's getting up four more gateways, which, uh, you know what that means for Protoss, that they're going to be going for some big gateway attack, but it is just Blink. Plus two's on the way for Hero, and he's getting out an Immortal now. That's the very first, or that's the second Immortal he's made. Okay, pardon me. Uh... But still, it's kind of concerning for Hero that this is all he's going for versus what's going to be a Roach Hydra army coming out of Leenok. So uh, a little bit concerning there. Might, yeah, just a Mass Hydras I think are pretty good versus Blink Stalkers and Immortals. However, there are those timings that Protoss can hit, so we'll see if a Hero can hit any of them. Here comes in these uh, Oracles. They're going to start picking off some drones. Leenok saved two of them for a brief period of time as the... Uh, as one of them tried to hide in a spore crawler but got picked off. Is, is Hero actually going to kill this other one too that turned into an extractor? Oh, it's going to be close. No, the oracles do have to get out of there. Selenok saves one of the drones that probably would have died there. Now, uh, plus one going to be finishing up for Leenok here. He's getting a lurker den on the way as well though. So, Leenok getting up all these techs here. And I feel as if this is pretty good for him, but Hero is moving out on the map. So this is where it does become a little bit concerning. Overall, his army, probably pretty decent in a straight-up fight, but Hero, he's warped in a ton of sentries as this game has gone on. He's going to be going for it. Does he have a warp prism with this yet? No, he does not, but uh, still going to have a lot of stalkers right now. Then uh, all these, uh, yeah, a lot of stalkers, the sentries, the couple of immortals, or the few immortals to get a fair bit of damage done with the plus two attacks. The Hero is trying to hit a nice time here. Can Leenok have got enough together to uh, repel this? I mean, he's got up a fairly scary Hydra Ken. He's got up a few Lings. He's got a lot more in production, though. He's not going to have lurkers in time to defend this attack, but Hero's just going for it. This is a very Hero-esque attack. Warp Prism comes on in. Is he going to go for it, though? I mean, uh, time's ticking here. The sooner, the better. Right now, the armies, it's actually looking pretty scary for Leenok. I mean, he's got a lot of Zerg, but he's not quite at that critical mass which will just kill, basically, Infinity Stalkers at this moment. Hero, with these uh, force fields, may be able to make something happen. He's coming on in to the south of this base right now. Could have some good force fields going down. Leenok did make a few Ravagers of the Corrosive Bolly Stand, so Hero's trying to push on in. Not finding a whole lot just yet, though, so, so far, so good. Leenok able to hold on. Hero, he's got plus three attack on the way. He's getting up a fourth Nexus, but eventually you want something else as a Protoss. A Fleet Beacon seems to be the next choice for Hero, which is an interesting tech follow-up. <laughs> Leenok, oops. Accidentally corrosive Biles some of his own units there. That's a bit risky, but uh, now what do we see? Leenok, he's getting up to those seven Lurkers, and once those seven Lurkers are uh, out, that's where it becomes very dicey for Hero. Hero may see an opportunity here because there is seven less Hydras in the fight, but now that they've morphed into Lurkers, I don't think Hero is going to be able to push on into this. He might just have to maybe try and bounce around, try and snipe off a base quickly or something, but 
He's not going to be able to engage this army head on with what he's got. We see Hero, he's teching up, he's getting charge on the way, he's getting air weapons already. This is a very fast tech into air for Hero. Two Stargates going up here. He's, this is 10 minutes into the game. This is very significant. Hero's pushing on in. Gotta be careful. Of, needs to avoid those lurkers. Eating a few shots on them. He's got the sentries to keep his army safe. The Zerg can't dive on top of this. But uh, still rather concerning there for the Protoss. There we go. An Observer comes on in for Hero. He can now spot those lurkers. But he, yeah, he's just going right up to a mothership. He's going to have his plus three attack, getting up some cannons. So Hero's economy is going pretty good for himself while just pressuring Lenok. Might have to call in some force fields there, but for now, not able to break the Zerg player as this game's going on. Look at that. Six cannons and six spine crawlers going on there. There's something uh, poetic about that. Lenok a lot at this base, just being like, all right, I'm maxed out. I can invest in these spines. They'll help me out a little bit, and uh, they don't take supply. Here, though, just uh, being a bit of a pain with whatever he can for the time being, scouting out. So many lurkers are on the way here for Lenok. He's maxed out. This is where the Zerg generally becomes pretty scary, and where the Protoss would usually be tacking into something like Psystorm. But uh, we're actually seeing just straight into carriers coming out, of, coming out of Hero. Lenok's not aware of this, though, so this could actually catch him off guard. Look at all these hallucinated uh, Phoenix flying on out, scouting out. But they are going to see that this Zerg is uh, moving across the map, and he's angry. Hero bullied Lenok for a fair bit of time, and now Lenok's going to return the favor. Force fields are buying time, though. And look at this. Hero's going to be moving in with his Blink Stalkers. Okay, he's going to be going for it. There's a Lurker out there, but it is just one Lurker. A few more are moving uh, up should be able to repel those stalkers. Lenok, he's looking to keep the pressure onto Hero for now, but as this game is going on, Hero, he sort of skipped the Psystorm phase of this uh, Protoss army, which you generally want to get at some point, but he seems to be doing fine by it. He's got uh, these carriers on the way, and once you've got up a few carriers, that's going to do pretty well versus the Zerg that doesn't have any corruptors or anything. Hero still also just utilizing these Blink Stalkers and uh, just holding on for now. And soon, Lenok's going to have to start worrying about having enough anti-air to deal with these carriers because he had a lot of Hydras, but uh, they've all been made into Lurkers pretty much. So this is looking pretty good for Hero. He's getting up more and more carriers. We're seeing some Vipers go up, a Spire go up for Lenok. So he's thinking about dealing with this now, but not able to push on in. Both these players have poked and prodded each other, but neither of them has been able to push in on the other. We see uh, Lenok trying to make it up this ramp, but so many force fields still for Hero. We're even seeing a counterattack from Hero. So many Blink Stalkers come on in. These are plus three Blink Stalkers. That hatchery does not stand a chance there. A few Lurkers are coming on in. They've got that adaptive talent, so they burrow very quickly, but we might just see Hero recall or just try and blink on out. There we go. Yeah, recall for Hero. <laughs> Two poor Stalkers can't fit in there, dude, due to that... Uh, long since uh, reduced recall range so but uh, they're actually fine there and now hero he's just been sitting back he's got up a mothership a mothership he's building up a fair few carriers now and Lenok, what does he have i mean he's got a lot of lurkers but those aren't going to help him out Hero's moving out on the map with these stalkers being a big pain gonna cancel or kill another hatchery actually straight up kills it Lenox moving out with his army but actually a bit of a misstep right there eating a lot of shots from those interceptors it's mainly just ravagers and roaches going down but still this army of hero it's very lethal Lenox needs something to deal with it he's making 16 hydras he's getting plus three attack on the way which will make his hydras deal a lot of damage lurkers out on the map they're pushing back these immortals, but they're not actually going to be too useful versus this mass carrier army. The stalkers, on the other hand, yes, but Lenok really does need up all of these hydras to help him out. And uh, he abducts the mothership, but I don't think he's got the damage to pick it off. There we go. He's going to be able to get it now, which is very nice for him. A parasitic bomb goes down on the carriers. Some of these carriers are getting intercepted. Did Hero uh, engage a little bit too soon? Yes, he did, it seems. He's going to be losing a few of those carriers, a big chunk of his air fleet. And... Uh, while he's picking off a base here that does hurt, Lenok, he's just making a ton of carry, a ton of uh, hydras there, and maybe he's thinking of going for it. He's going to be crossing the map right now. Here has got a ton of cannons up and such, though. But uh, Lenok might just go for it. He's going to crash against these cannons right now. Cannons with shield batteries are pretty good, but hydras put out so so much damage. They don't have plus three yet, but they will soon. And uh, this is just pretty darn scary. Although Lenok might be overcommitted here with this chunk of his army right now, and I think he very well maybe. There's uh, some Hydras and Lurkers here. War Prism gets picked off. Some reinforcing Hydras are coming on in, but still, these carriers are putting out a lot of damage there with their plus one attack. Despite a few of them getting picked off, it's uh, 
It's a little bit too much right now for Lenok. He's got another base down here that's being attacked by these two stalkers that were left behind. They seem to be doing pretty well for themselves, and Lenok, he's just churning out more and more Hydras. We never saw any Corruptors or anything get made, and I think Lenok's right for now. There's no Psy Storm or anything, as I say that. Never mind what's that. A bunch of High Templar roll up. They don't quite have energy for Psy Storm, but once there is, it's going to be very concerning for Lenok. He's building up this Hydra count, and I mean, Hydras, they've got the damage, but once the Psy Storm's added in here, it becomes very, very dangerous for him. Lenok has to retreat right now. Hero's army is just bigger and bigger here. These stalkers that he made early on in the game for that first attack have just been getting used the entire game. A base gets picked off, and Hero on five bases with this scary army. Lenok stepping forward, eats a Psy Storm, and yeah, he's actually just going to tap on out there, knowing that uh, it's pretty much over at this point. I mean, Lenok on four bases. This was a bit of a... Bit of an earlier tap out, Lenok just says right into the next game or whatever, hit play on that ladder button. But uh, no, you can't really blame Lenok for tapping out right now as uh, Hero got a good bank up on supply, just uh, more bases, better tech, everything, and Lenok's just making high moves. And uh, that's just the way the game went on. Lenok, I guess he sort of got forced into that position, and Hero's transition into air, it was a very quick one. Getting up that air before building up like a significant ground army, it's not uh, it's not uh, it's not like unicorn rare or anything like that, but uh, it's it's not the most common thing in the world. But uh, Hero managed to make it work, doing a very good job just uh, pulling Lenok across the map with his stalkers and such. And anyway, if you guys stayed to the end of this cast, feel free to hit that like button. And uh, if you're new to the channel and uh, you're liking the content, feel free to press that subscribe button as I'm uh, putting out new casts pretty darn regularly here, guys. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.